guys, I'm Desiree from DesireeClements.com and welcome to my YouTube channel where I share information to help you understand yourself better. Because once you're able to understand yourself better, you're able to live a more happier, abundant, and purpose-filled life. So if you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification so you don't miss out on any new and upcoming videos that I'm going to release. So welcome to my numerology series where I explain what each number means and also give you a general overview analysis of your own personality number. The personality number is calculated by reducing your day of birth to a single digit number. Also understand that this is just a general overview analysis of your personality number and it's really just to shed light onto one aspect of yourself. In this video I'm going to go over personality number two. So if you were born on any one of these days you are a personality number two. Welcome to number two in my numerology series. Number two is naturally the number of duality. In sacred geometry, the two overlapping circles, referred to as the Vasaika Pisces, represents the duality of both God and God's energies, as well as the merging of both heaven and earth. Number two is also referred to the Greek goddess Nephele, who represents duality. Christians believed that Christ Jesus had divine duality in himself. One part of him was God and the other part was human. According to Hindu beliefs, number two represents the duality of both mind and senses. In Kabbalah numerology, the number two symbolizes expansion and connection. Unlike number one that represents the masculine part of the yin-yang, two represents the feminine part, which is the yin. Feminine attributes such as emotion, intuition, cooperation, secrecy, and diplomacy are all connected to number two. The heavenly body attributed to this number is the moon. The moon serves as a reflection of our unconscious and true self. The moon in astrology represents our mother, as well as our own maternal nurturing instincts. It also represents our internal mind and is strongly connected to our emotional expression. The number two on one side is considered to be the symbol of multiplicity, alteration, and opposition. But on the other hand, it exemplifies balance and stability. Individuals with personality number two were born on the second, the 11th, the 20th or the 29th of any given month. As I mentioned before, two is the number of duality, cooperation, emotion, intuition, sensitivity, and diplomacy. Those who fall under this number are seen as sensitive, caring, and intuitive individuals. These individuals have big hearts and may care deeply for the well-being of animals or less fortunate people and even the environment. Personality number twos know how to effectively work within groups as they can gauge how others feel. They can also easily work out a way that is diplomatic and serves all. Personality number two can be hardworking individuals. Whenever they put their energy towards something of value, they are seen as role models and reliable workers. However, they can be overlooked for their hardworking endeavors and contributions due to their quiet nature. In order to receive the notoriety and gratitude due, Personality number twos need to be strong and voice their concerns and demand respect from higher-ups in the workplace. While sensitivity and emotional turbulence can have its tool on number twos, they do possess the ability to easily switch from calm swan to ferocious cat, especially if someone crosses their path. Number twos may use strong verbal defenses when in arguments, so much so that a number two's words can shock and hurt the offending party. However, number twos will always resort to finding balance and cooperation in most circumstances. This is why these individuals are known to be the most harmonious and can easily make friends since their cooperative nature makes them very popular. If you are a number two, you may feel insecure for not being as ambitious as others, but it is not your nature to be outwardly aggressive. And if you're personality number two, embrace that you like to observe a situation before engaging. Others may see this as being shy, but for you, it's about making sure that you feel comfortable before proceeding. Feelings are your expertise and you should mindfully listen and follow them. Number twos are the peacemakers and balancers of the world. You are meant to share your caring and good-natured soul to the rest of the world, so others can look to you as a role model on how to bring peace to our own individual worlds. In conclusion, personality number twos are caring and diplomatic. They make great friends and are easy to be around. Number twos represent the dualistic nature of our existence. They are meant to be role models and remind others to find balance and peace in all 
areas of life. So guys, that's it. That's my analysis on your personality number. Be sure to give me a big fat thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and that bell notification so you don't miss out on any new and upcoming videos I'm going to be releasing. They're going to be awesome. I guarantee that. And if you're looking for more information and more content on how to understand yourself better, please check out my website, DesireeClements.com, where you'll find awesome content, awesome information. I guarantee that. And until next time, guys, bye.